Hello, my Leo babies. Welcome to your October forecast. It's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. Let's get to it. This is quite a heavy month for everybody. I mean, geez, I, I, I am feeling the weight of October's forecast. I have to tell you, I have to tell you. Mercury's retrograde, and that's not, that's not even the main reason why I'm feeling the weight. Mercury is retrograde, though, in your third house of communication. Mercury's retrograde in Libra, partnership dynamics, relating. And until October 18th, Leo, you are truly reframing your thoughts and, and going on a vital course correction in this area of your life that hopefully will lead to stronger, more authentic relationships moving forward. There's also a new moon in your communication sector on the 5th that's right next to Mars. So you're driven to do this, and that's all great. You're driven to do this. You are pushing forward with some kind of new negotiation or contract, very possibly. But in order to do that, you have to tie up some loose ends in the past or fix some errors in research or in your communication and expectations because Mercury is retrograde here. So that's happening for you. That's that's one storyline. And that's not that's not the most difficult of what's happening for you this month. It's just that, you know, you've, you're not thinking correctly about something in a relationship dynamic, and it does require attention. I do see you getting there, though. I do see you getting there. And here's why. Saturn is going to turn direct on October 10th. Where is Saturn? In your partnership sector. And Saturn here, once once he's direct, is going to allow you to move forward responsibly with that commitment mindset, with the duty, responsibility, obligation, perspective in taking your relationships seriously, business or personal. And part of how you're going to take responsibility for your role in this connection is through this reframing of your thoughts, your decisions, rethinking your decisions, rethinking your conversational style with your partner. Now, doing that is going to get you to the point at this month, at some point this month, if you're in a relationship of, okay, is this relationship sustainable for both of us? Can we move forward now that I am changing my perspective and I'm willing to talk about things and confront things in a different way? Or is this relationship really not what is in our best interests for the future? I don't see a breakup. I don't see that. What I'm seeing is kind of like a breakup in your mind that has to happen in order for you to move forward in an a responsible way. It's it's kind of like, Leo, I love you and all, but it's time for you to take responsibility for your role in your relationships. And this month, that's happening for you. And it might not feel good for some of the time, while Mercury's retrograde in particular, the end of the month in particular, okay, when, when Mercury goes direct, but it's it's worth it. It's worth it. So, Venus is going to move into your romance sector on the 6th. And if you're totally single, this is a great energy to meet someone new, fall in love, start dating, have fun, just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. This is a love, 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 pleasure energy. It's You're going to enjoy your time with your children. If you have any children, if you're working on a creative project, it could be very lucrative. So keep at it. And then Mercury will go direct on the 18th, and then there's this full moon that I'm not exactly a fan of because it's stressed. This is a difficult full moon, and, you know, hey, I wish it wasn't. It's in Aries, and I have Aries rising, so I wish this was a great full moon, but it's a tough, tough cookie. This full moon is happening in your ninth house, which is your beliefs. This is the legal world. This is higher education, spiritual matters. And this full moon is angry. It's squaring Pluto, the planet of power and control in your sixth house of health and habits. 
And a couple of days later, Mars, the ruler of this full moon, is going to be exactly square Pluto. Mars will be in Libra, right? Your third house of the mind and how you're approaching relationships mentally. Mars will be square Pluto. So there's something here about letting go of your beliefs that are not productive. They're not helping you. They are the barrier. There's something about your rid, rigid, not rigid, righteous, almost a self-righteous mindset that is hurting you in a relationship. And if you don't let go of that, it's, you know, the more you try to control someone else's thoughts, the more you try to control someone else's opinion, perspective, viewpoint, the harder it is to have a healthy relationship. And this could blow up for you at, at, towards this full moon period, either in a work relationship, but it could also be a personal romantic relationship since the energy of Aries and Libra is so active. And it's a, again, it's a cross communication lines here for you. So there's just something wrong, very wrong in communication between you and a partner that needs to be rectified. And you're going to be very angry about this around October 20th. And you're going to feel like you're right. Full moon and Aries in the ninth house. You're right. And the other person's wrong. And you're going to spend a lot of energy making the other person wrong. But that would be to your detriment. So I'm telling you right now not to do that. Don't do that. Take a step back. Take a time out. Maybe you are right about certain things. But there's a way to communicate that. And at this moment, between the 18th and the 22nd, you're going to be too heated, too heated to communicate it effectively. So you're going to want to take a time out. It, you, could, you could damage a work relationship in particular at this time. And if there's a legal situation, ugh, dude, please, you're not favored if you're in a legal situation right around the 20th. You're not favored. It doesn't look good for you. So don't get yourself in a legal situation at the end of the month, okay? And your ethics might even come into question with a work relationship, a work situation. And you may try to finesse your way out of it or convince the other person that you're, you didn't do anything wrong. But if you did something wrong, Leo, you, you're gonna you're gonna be caught. Not saying that you are doing something wrong, so don't. <laughs> you know I love you, Leos. Okay, I really do. Both of my kids are Leos, but I got I have to be as honest as I can about my assessment of the astrology here, and it's difficult. And and I think that you're going to have to really let go of some unhealthy beliefs that are not serving you, that are making you <clears throat> ruthlessly self-directed in a wrong way and realign yourself, realign yourself. So, you know, where's your help? Where's your help this, this month? I think a spiritual mentor would be really helpful for you. If there is somebody, a professor, somebody in your clergy, somebody that you look up to, a wise person who has managed to get through some kind of adversity of his or her own, listen to that person. That person might help you a lot this month dealing with this, uh, this drama that's on the table. And then on the 30th, Mars will enter your fourth house of home, family, real estate, and remains here until December 13th. So you might be busy with some construction project at home over the next few weeks. Yes, this could be some family conflict coming in for you. It doesn't have to be. Mars, you can really easily discharge the energy of Mars in your fourth house by choosing to do a, a construction project, by choosing to, you know, anything, pick up a hammer, just move furniture, do something physical at home, and you can discharge that energy. And so, guys, hang in there. There's a lot for you to learn from this month's energy, 
especially in terms of your thoughts and how you need to reframe something about how you're about your approach in relationships, about decisions and conversations, conversational style, communication, communication in general in relationships. There is something here to fix, but you can fix it. It just won't be easy. All right, but fix it. This is supposed to be a course correction. So my friends, correct, come correct and you'll be fine.